Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless spoilers claim that Diane Jenkins Abbott will be worried before her wedding reception with Jack Abbott on Friday, October 6. Lauren Fenmore Baldwin was meant to deliver Diane's altered clothing, but she'll be late, which would make Diane concerned about Lauren's relationship with Phyllis Summers. Despite Diane's fears that Phyllis will damage her gown and disrupt the ceremony, Jack and Tracy Abbott will work hard to persuade her that everything will be all right. Billy Abbott will notice Tucker McCall at the GCAC on Friday's I and R episode and question why he's still in town. Tucker will tell Billy that Devin Hamilton Winters and Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor still live in Geno City when he acts as though he has nothing left. Although Tucker will state unequivocally that he is staying, he will convince Billy that he is backing off Jabot owing to the blackmail threat. Tucker will claim the Abbots have won, but Billy will be skeptical because backing down does not imply abandoning a plot. Billy will try to keep Tucker away from Jack and Diane's wedding party. Tucker will continue to play stupid about the incident in order to get under Billy's skin, while Billy does the same to Tucker. Phyllis will discover Lauren with a dress at Crimson Lights and observe that it is labeled with Diane's name. When Phyllis learns that Lauren is giving a gown for Diane and Jack's wedding celebration, she will consider it a betrayal and will argue that Lauren should not be supporting their marriage. Lauren will act as if this is difficult enough for her and will press Phyllis to tone down the fury. Lauren will be unable to attend the party due to an emergency business trip, but Phyllis will insinuate that she may send the dress for her. Lauren, on the other hand, will know better than to give Phyllis her enemy's gown and will instead give it to Chloe Mitchell. Kyle will tell Diane and Jack that he will attend the reception this afternoon at the Abbott Mansion. When Kyle asks if he can bring a date, Jack and Diane will appear uneasy. Although Diane and Jack will try to figure out if Kyle is referring to Audra Charles, he will assert that their relationship is finished. Kyle will eventually conclude that it is not a good idea to bring someone new to Harrison Abbott at this time, so he will cancel the date and make today it our family. Kyle will also stress that nothing has changed and tell his parents that they are not getting back together. When Diane and Jack mention renewing their vows at the party, they'll wonder if Kyle is willing to officiate. Kyle will be flattered that they asked him and will undoubtedly agree. Tucker will flash back to Audra at the athletic club, asking him what he'd do now that his Jabot scheme has been scrapped. Tucker will whip out his phone and text Audra that he needs her to rekindle the flame with Kyle. When Billy meets with Jack, he will mention returning the funny embezzlement money and will email Jack the proof. As they shake hands, Jack will convince Billy that it isn't necessary and convey his trust in his brother. Billy will also provide updates on his conversation with Tucker, who isn't planning on leaving town because of Devon and Dominic. That's why Billy will believe they should have turned Devon against Tucker, but Jack will remain opposed. Billy will want to keep an eye out for Tucker and defend Jack and Diane's upcoming vow renewal. Jack will advise Billy to let security handle things because he wants his family to be present for the celebration. He'll exclaim over how lovely his bride looks once Chloe has delivered the dress and Diane has put it on. Because the celebration will start outside later, Kyle and Summer will share a joke with Tracy about Harrison being boisterous. Diane and Jack will appear optimistic after they watch Summer and Kyle get along. Summer will look over her shoulder when Chance Chancellor and Sharon Rosales enter and excuse herself from her talk with Kyle and Tracy. Abby Newman Abbott will also be there with Devin during the wedding reception, so she'll be staring at Chance with Sharon on his arm. When Jack begins the celebration with Diane by his side, he will invite any remaining skeptics to look in their eyes and see how powerful their love story truly is. Phyllis will sit in the jazz room and listen to Danny Romalavi play the piano before inviting him to grab a drink with her. Danny will decline the drink, but he will keep Phyllis company and try to break her down. Phyllis will act as if everyone is criticizing her and not giving her a chance, but Danny will assure her that there are many people pulling for her, including him. Danny will simply think Phyllis needs to focus on positivism rather than her woe-is-me act, which is getting her nowhere. Phyllis will like the motivational speech and will eventually join Danny at the piano, where he will finally finish the bridge he was working on. After thanking Phyllis for the inspiration, Danny will emphasize the significance of lending a helpful hand rather than kicking someone while they're down. 
In a lovely moment, Phyllis and Danny will clasp each other's hands. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Phyllis still has an opportunity to prove herself, but bad news and setbacks appear to be more likely. The Young and the Restless Spoilers preview video for the week of October 9-13 to teases some grilling sessions, as well as some major revelations. Fans of Y and R will witness lots of drama throughout town, so let's take a look at what's in store. To begin, Phyllis Summers will question Danny Romilotti about Christine Blair Williams, suspecting he has lingering affections for her. When Phyllis asks if Christine still has a special place in Danny's heart, he'll say, of course she does. Danny may behave as if Cricket is just a friend after learning that Christine was trying to work things out with Paul Williams in Lisbon. Danny, on the other hand, was secretly dissatisfied by Christine's attempt at reconciliation. Since Christine and Paul are indeed on the verge of divorce, this could bode well for Danny's chances of recapturing Christine's heart. She'll update Daniel Romilada Jr. on her official decision to end her law profession in Europe and return home with Heather Stevens. Daniel will inquire whether Heather is considering returning to Savannah, but she will respond that she is instead returning to Geno City. Although Daniel will be delighted to spend more time with Lucy Romilada, the prospect of having his previous flame so close to him may make him uneasy. Heather clearly still has love for Daniel, which could cause problems in his relationship with Lily Winters, especially because Daniel appears to have some unresolved sentiments of his own. Nick Newman will voice his displeasure with Adam Newman's manipulation of Sally Spectra in her suite. Nick will admit that he cannot go through this again because it plainly affects Sally. When Sally questions what Nick is saying, he will confirm his desire to end things. Nick will give Sally space to figure out what's on her mind, so he'll dump her, at least until she can make a definite decision on her future. Tucker McCall will meet with Devin Hamilton Winters and express his desire for less upheaval in his life. Tucker will insist that all he wants is peace and quiet, which Devin hopes is true. Devin will be surprised with a crucial question after Tucker promises him he can bank on it, according to the young and the restless spoilers. In Y and R's weekly preview video, Devin asks Tucker about his relationship to Mamie Johnson, so is Tucker the hidden partner she spoke with over the phone. Devin appears to assume Mamie's scheme is tied to his biological father, so Tucker may have some explaining to do. Y and R spoilers. Lauren offers unsolicited advice to Phyllis. Lauren Fenmore Baldwin expresses herself. The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Friday, October 6, 2023, reveal that Phyllis learns something unexpected from Lauren. In addition, Jack and Diane plan their large wedding reception. This will undoubtedly be an episode filled with memorable moments that you will not want to miss. Highlights from The Young and the Restless Lauren was heartbroken after Phyllis died. She was relieved to see her friend alive, but she was also enraged if Phyllis had put her and everyone else through grief by faking her death. Even yet, she's generally stuck with Phyllis because Lauren is that kind of friend. Will Phyllis listen now, when Lauren gives her unwanted advice? Knowing Phyllis, I doubt it. Young and restless spoilers. A happy marriage. Jack and Diane decided to get married right away at a justice of the peace. Of course, very few individuals ended up accompanying them. Kyle couldn't even find the time to go. Since then, they've decided to throw a big party for all of their friends and family to celebrate. Sure, not everyone in Geno City is overjoyed that they got married, but some will surely show up. Tracy, Kyle, and Billy will almost certainly be there. Even Mammy may show up to show her support for Jackie. I and our spoilers. It's party time. The big day for their special event appears to have arrived, and Jack and Diane are getting ready to celebrate their nuptials. Will everything happen as planned? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.